I'm Drew Gardner, I'm here at CW39 TV station in Houston, Texas, and I'm here today to recreate a famous portrait of Thomas Jefferson with his direct descendant, Shannon Lanier. Totally. And here's the man himself, hey, Shannon. Yeah, good to finally uh, meet you. Mate, <laughs> at long last we oh, meet, yes, sir. Yeah, it's been way too long. It's, it's, Let's see, she's getting me presidential ready. And gentlemen, this, this is sauce. this. Okay, this sauce. The clothes we were using were authentic like I mean, like and from the 19th century. And even though the outfit was relatively simple, the details took quite some getting right. As the finishing touches were being put to the costume, I headed out onto the set to arrange the lighting. Yes, with the lights a minute. That's it. Okay. N -n even with all the painstaking attention to detail, you really do have no idea how much or how little a resemblance they're going to bear to their ancestor. This is three layers of material around my neck. I'm like, were they afraid they were going to... Let's have a look at that shadow. Yesterday, to prepare for this. Your eyes were healing. More. Coming face to face with one of the direct descendants of all the most significant people in American history really does put the pressure on you to get it exactly uh, right, uh, or as right as you can. Curious. Yeah, I think we've got this. A good job, I think. How was it for you? It was an, uh, it was an interesting experience. You know, mm -hmm. I never realized how many layers of clothes they had to wear. Like, this is three different layers yeah. wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. You had to side of Jefferson's family that descend from his wife Martha and then the side that descend from his slave Sally Hemings. But now, luckily, we've all come together, we recognize each other as family, and, you know, we're moving forward with the story of us being family. We've come a long way in America, but we still have a lot of work to do. You know, this story can just stand as one example of this family unifying, coming together after being separated from years of slavery, that if we can come together as one, then maybe this country can, you know, put its differences behind themselves and heal. You know, but it has to be recognized, it has to be addressed. You'll be surprised of how much people don't know about our ancestry, our history, slavery, and how much people had to go through, that they gave their blood, sweat, and tears and many times their lives in order for us to have the freedoms that we have, to have the education that we have, to be able to take part and even vote and things like that. You know, a lot of people went through a lot of things to make sure that we have the freedoms that we have today. And that's why it's so important that we take part in every opportunity. Hopefully this will open up a lot of people's eyes to what's in our legacy, what's in our history, and how it has changed and how it's evolved and how, you know, yes, Jefferson may have been a founding father, but I am an image of what his family has now become. And we are the color of the rainbow. You know, you look at my family and you see every color in there, as you will see from many families that have come from slavery or just what America has become, sort of like a melting pot.